We're going to be doing the Fullerton Advanced Balance Scale today, Jean. So what we're going to do on the very first item is I'm going to ask you to stand with your feet together so the front of your feet and your heels are touching or as close as possible. You're going to place your arms across your chest and you're going to stand with your eyes closed until I ask you to open them. Okay. All right, so let's bring those feet all the way together. Good. You're going to fold your arms across your chest. And when you're comfortable, you're going to close your eyes. Okay, and stop. Open up. Okay. All right, so you can pitch your feet apart again. Good. All right. On test item number two, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to be leaning forward to take an object from my hand. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to raise the arm that you normally reach with to shoulder height. And what I'd like you to do for me is you're going to lean forward, take the pencil from my hand, return to your start position and try not to move your feet. Good, good job. On test item number three, what I'm going to ask you to do is to turn in a full circle, first to the right, come back to the front and pause, and then in a full circle to the left, come back to the front and pause. So it looks just like this if you watch just for a moment. So I'm going to turn to the right, a full circle, pause, now turn to the left, and pause. Very good. On test item number four, what I'm going to ask you to do is to step up and over this six inch bench, first leading with the right leg, swinging the left leg up and over the bench until you reach the other side, turning around and then leading with the left leg, stepping up onto the bench, swinging the right leg up and over the bench. Let me demonstrate for you. So right leg is leading, left leg swings up and over the bench, you turn, Left leg leads, steps onto the bench, right up and over until you reach the other side. So come around this side first. I'm going to be right here with you. So come a little closer to the bench. All right, so you're going to step on with your right foot, swing the left up and over. That's all right, and step on off with the left. Okay, and turn around. How are you doing? Okay? okay. All right. Now you're going to lead with the left foot. Good effort. <laughs> All right. Good effort. That's a hard one for you. On test item number five, what I'm going to be asking you to do is to do a tandem walk along the taped line on the floor. So what I'm going to have you do is put one foot on the line, and then what you're going to try to do, if you can, is walk heel to toe so that the heel is touching the toe along the line until I ask you to stop. Now, if you should lose your balance for any reason or interrupt the steps, just try to get back onto the line as soon as you can. You can look wherever you need to look. Okay. Very good. That was really quite good. On test item number six, what I'm going to ask you to do is to stand on one leg. So what you'll do is you'll choose the leg that you would like to stand on, raise the other leg from the floor. You'll first cross your arms across your chest, and when you're ready, lift the foot off the floor and hold it until I ask you to put it down, or you have to put it down because you've lost balance. Try not to touch your leg while you've got the, air, the leg in the air. Okay, not bad. Relax for a moment. Would you like to try the other leg or do you think you were on your strongest leg? Let's try it. 
<laughs> All right. No, you picked right the first time. The first one was stronger. Good. Good job. And item number seven, what I'd like you to do is you're going to be stepping up onto the foam. Your feet will be shoulder width apart. You fold your arms across your chest. And when you're ready, you'll close your eyes and keep them closed until I ask you to open them. Okay, good, good effort. Now I want you to step forward. Oh. Oops, no, it doesn't matter. It's okay, forward off the phone preferably. It's a little safer. Good <laughs> effort, good effort. On test item number eight, what I'm going to ask you to do, if you're able to do it, is a two-footed jump for distance. What you'll be asked to do is to jump from two feet, land on two feet, as far but as safely as you can. So it looks like this. Now, is this something you feel comfortable or safe to do? Okay, I've never tried. I don't want you to hurt I yourself. I, I want you to be. Um, I can't do it. No That's more. all right. That's fine. <laughs> all right. That's just fine. So we'll stop right there and move on to the next test okay. item. Not a yeah, problem I, at all. I, I, I can't lock myself. Yeah, my good. Not a problem at all. Test item number nine on the fab scale is to walk and turn your head to the beat of a metronome. The metronome beat will be like so. Can you hear that okay? So what I'm going to ask you to do is you're going to be turning your head approximately 30 degrees. So that's about the excursion of shoulder to shoulder in to the right and to the left. And what you're going to do is you're going to walk and turn your head at the same time. So it looks like this. Now, just to make sure that you understand what it feels like, I'm going to ask you to turn your head to the time of the metronome while you're standing in place. Good, that's a nice head turn. And when you're ready, I'd like you to start walking and turning at the same time. A little more head excursion. That's good. And stop. Good effort. On test item number 10, the final test item on the fab scale, I'm going to ask you actually to turn to look at the wall directly in front of you. And I'm going to ask you to have your feet shoulder width apart and your arms by your sides. And I'm going to put my hand right between your shoulder blades. And I'm going to ask you to lean back into my hand until I ask you to stop. So I'd like you to lean your body into my hand. Keep leaning back. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Very nicely done. <laughs> and it was quite a surprise too, wasn't it? Good job. We're going to be doing the eight foot up and go on the senior fitness test. What you're going to be asked to do is you'll be starting on the chair. You'll be scooted all the way to the front of the chair. When I say go, you'll rise from the chair, walk quickly but safely around the cone, come back to the chair and sit down. I'll be timing you from the time I say go until the time that your buttocks touch the seat. Let's first do a practice just to make sure you understand what it is that you need to do. And you may use your hands on this test. Good. Understand exactly what you have to do? Yes. So on the next two test trials, you'll wait until I say go. Then you'll walk as quickly but as safely as you can and come back to the chair, sit down. The timing will not stop until your buttocks touch the chair. Ready? Go.
Good job. And we're going to do it one more time. Ready? Go. Nicely done. A little faster on that second trial. 